Okay, installing a wiki. Now this can be quite tricky, so let's pay attention. Okay, website templates. I'm, I'm in the, this is FileZilla, so I'm just going to FTP all of the web files from the memory stick. Now it's probably worth backing these files up to your website, to your um, PC as well. Um, I've just dragged them across into the public HTML folder that we saw earlier. Okay, so this is opening up a, a web page. Let's look at the details here. Um, one thing you do need to do is change the permissions of some of these files that we've just uploaded. Okay, so the first few are data and data temporary. So find the folder, there it is. Let's right click and choose file attributes. Okay, this is, this is one of the most important things. Before you, before you properly install the wiki, um, you just need to make sure that the file attributes are correctly set up. Okay, so while that's running, let's look at the, the next one. Um, library slash plugins um, in a minute we'll um, we'll go to uh, install.php and we'll run through that process to install the wiki properly but um, we just need to make sure that these these things are set up first um, this just means that um, the software itself can access the folders that are um, that are needed for the wiki in order to run if we don't give the software access to those folders by changing these file attributes um, then you'll find that uh, the the wiki won't install correctly. So this is a this is a, a slightly boring but um, vital stage of the process. Um, what's left? Local.php in the conf directory. Okay, so let's look in conf. Ah, oh, okay. So it doesn't look like local.php is there yet. Um, and that's because we haven't run through the installation process yet. We've actually we've just been uploading files and changing their attributes, um, and they're not they're not in my local computer either. So so that must be something that's created during the installation process. So we've got as far as we can with changing the file attributes. Uh, what are the other ones? Users.auth.php and acl.auth.php. Okay, so those are other two two more. Let's see if we can do those. Are they there? Not quite. No, they're not. Okay, so the, so we've got as far as we can. So let's now go to our web page. So open up your web page and go to. Uh, so this is the this is the default wiki with the default page. Okay, so it's not properly installed yet. So change docu.php to install.php, and there we go. Um, this installer is just a it's a one-off, and once you've installed the thing um, using this pretty simple setup. Um, you won't have to do this again. So put in your email address. That's an important one. Um, passwords that you want, and this is also important. If you if you change it to public, it means that um, not everyone in the whole world will be able to change your website, which I guess is quite a good move, um, depending on what you want it to use it for. So let's log in using that information I've just put in. Ah, there we go. Okay, before I log in. Um, I've just looked back in that same folder, and um, the the PHP files that um, weren't there before are now there. So local.php is one of them, um, and I'm just going to change its file attributes to allow by by right clicking as we did before. I think the last one. Let me just have a look. acl.auth.php. Okay, so the last one's there as well. Um, so as with the other ones, right click, file attributes and then just make sure the right options are, are selected. Okay, so I've done that before I've logged in just to make sure that um, the right permissions are set before I actually log in. Because wikis can be quite fragile um, and you may find that um, you get all sorts of errors. Um, okay, so here we go, administration. This is the thing that runs the wiki. Um, so I'm just going to change the template to diocese template. This is the template that I've put together. Um, to make the thing look a bit better. Okay, so here we go. This is this is what the wiki now looks like. So when you visit the home page, um, this is what you'll get. Um, now with any wiki, uh, it's important to understand how it basically works. Once you've logged in, you'll be able to you'll be able to edit any page. And this is the great advantage of wikis is that um, you don't have to upload stuff using FTP. Uh, you don't have to log in um, once once you've logged in once. That's that's pretty much it. You don't have to. Um, Kind of set those permissions as you do with it with a an HTML site. So I've just made there we go. Okay, so I, I've just added the word welcome to the home page. Now if I click on wiki and create that page, um, this is the wiki. So any changes you make, 
um, just using that very basic setup, uh, just click save. Your information will be uploaded straight away. Uh, to add a page, what I did there was I typed an example page, I turned it into a link and then uh, having saved that page I clicked on that link and um, that allowed me to edit that new page. So that's how you add a page to a wiki. Um, so let's click on home and wiki. Okay, so that's the wiki page and with the example page that I just added and there's page contents, whatever they are. So you can add as many pages as you want and keep going. It's a very quick process. Um, one final thing I say is you, you, um, it's worth changing the look of this thing. I'm sure you don't want Churchopedia written on your wiki. Um, and any of the kind of background images or whatever are um, accessible through this, uh, through the files on the memory stick, um, which you've uploaded online. So let's look at that file. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So here we go, logo.png. That's just an image um, of the Churchopedia logo. So if you change that, go to lib tpl. Let's do it locally as well. And diocese images, diocese images. And if you find logo.png, change that for your own logo. Where is it? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Logo.png, there we go. Once you've changed that um, to your own logo, um, just drag it across. So there's the one there already. So we'll just drag that across onto the one on the right, um, and that'll be it. So any images you change, um, just just uh, refresh the page, and you'll see your new wiki looking as you like. There we go.